I was, I was, I was buzzed, but obviously, you know, I, mean, I was trying to recover my senses, and then he proper full on pushed me like that, and I fell over and hit my head on the canvas, which is, which is illegal. This ain't rustling. This is, this is boxing. You know what I mean? But, but you know, as usual, they let Fury do what he wants and get away with it. You know what I mean? I should have been, I should have been allowed extra time to recover and then carry on fighting. You know what I mean? But, and then he pushed me. Then he went and said, referee, ah, oh, don't let the fight carry on. Well, you know, and then it was like. Referee ain't doing his job. He said, okay, someone, okay, I got caught. No, no doubt, but I got caught. Good shot. You know, so I went for the left uppercut. He went for the right uppercut. He's a bit taller than me. So obviously he landed his at range. I, I was hurt. Obviously, I didn't go straight down. I was hurt. I was trying to re um, get my senses together. But then he, he full on, 200 pushed me. It wasn't like one arm thing. He 200 pushed me. And I fell over and hit my head. You know, the referee, it's a terrible job from the referee there, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I should have, should have been, I should have had time to, to, to recover, I had time to go back to my corner, you know. But, but they, you know, I, I don't know, the times you get with a lot of things, you know, obviously, you know. He said he retired, I hope he doesn't retire because I want another go. And, and you showed respect for Fury throughout the fight week, despite a very difficult build-up for you. Did you speak to him afterwards? You know, he said, obviously, you're a good fight, you're a warrior, you're going to be a real champion one day, blah, 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 but, you know. I was just like, yeah, cool. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a sore loser. You win some, you lose some. This is life. This is boxing. You know, I mean, at the end of the days, you know, it was a good fight. Obviously, they underestimated me. He said I was this and I was that, but I showed up and I fought. You know, and I gave him just as much problem as he gave me. It wasn't like it was one way street. Have you had a chance to think about what's next? Well, I'm thinking my team now, but listen, I'm not one of those guys that want to go out and a loss or in a bad performance. Like, listen, I'm. I'm so young enough, I still got a lot left in me. Still feel strong, I'm still getting better. I thought the best in the world weren't outclassed. It wasn't outclassed, out of box is a bit taller than me. The range is a bit tricky, obviously, because obviously the style is it's hard to get guys to prepare for him because he's awkward in the way he fights and stuff. But I weren't outclassed. I landed my feet a little bit of lead and he landed his. So, you know, I'm not, it's not, it, I'd had got beat up for four or five rounds and got completely outclassed and it had been like, yeah, um, yeah, it's time to call it a day, but I weren't outclassed. And obviously, no, it's a, it's not a long, hard road back because I showed 11 I am. And obviously we sold 90 something thousand tickets together. It's not him alone, it's me alone. So, and I had a value going in before anyway. And obviously I've had loads of pay-per-view fights. They all sell out, they all been good fights. And um, I'm still there, I'm still good enough. So one fight and I'm back.